Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we're going to talk about quite a bit of random Xbox news going on over here. Number one, in regards to some of the ongoing now Activision acquisition stuff, where I'm sure a lot of folks kind of want a little bit of an update on that one. I'm going to give you guys some details, because there actually might be some really big details this week. They'll be kind of going and ongoing for the next upcoming big, big release, as well as also a bit of Call of Duty news, in case you guys missed that. We also have some other really cool stuff for Xbox Game Pass news, some really big Xbox court cases going on, and just a lot of little various things. So I guess we'll sit back, relax, and enjoy, and as well, well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below. If you guys are bored, we'll probably be playing some Zelda up on the Twitch. Just kind of doing some comfy chilling. We also do have the also uh, Samsung promotion going on in case you guys have missed it. There's a pretty good Samsung promotion going on right now for ongoing sales. It'll be linked down below. So leave a like, your comments, thoughts, all that good stuff. And let's dive into the video itself. So very first and foremost, in case you guys have had a chance to go and miss this, we've actually seen a really, really big next step when it comes to the Xbox Activision acquisition. So very first and foremost, this is some kind of juicy news where in case you guys are curious, and this one, I, dude, I have noticed that we're going on my webcam, but whatever. Basically, the report of Activision Blizzard hiring is now a, basically hiring one of the best and possibly the highest level lawyers you could possibly go and have to go and fight against the UK CMA. Now, if you guys do not, do not know, basically, if you guys go and lose one of your initial court things, you could still appeal the actual decision. So it's not one of those things where, like, it's an end-all, be-all Although, typically, it's kind of hard to come back and try to counterpoint all of that. If you guys missed it, the Activision deal is on a little bit of a pause slash lull because the UK commissioners basically are like, yeah, this might be a little bit too much of a potential monopoly, especially in regards now to the uh, more so like game streaming, game hosting, cloud computing side. Console side didn't really seem like the biggest, biggest difference or change when it comes to, like, say, Call of Duty, PlayStation, Nintendo, etc. And obviously, it, uh, Xbox is not happy with that. That call. So, when it comes to legal law, you basically are allowed to go and then appeal this, and then as you go and appeal it, obviously, you guys can get to go and uh, have a chance to restate your argument, counterpoint their arguments, and either sometimes, if that same court of law is not accepting of it, you can sometimes then go and find a different, separate judge to go and basically make a decision. It's kind of like, hey, like your math teacher said this problem was wrong, so then you go to a different math teacher and be like, hey, yo, I thought I did this work right, it looks right, and like, here's my counterpoint on it, what do you think? And that's kind of how a lot of these different types of deals go and happen, where you basically have to sometimes keep on like pushing stuff. It's kind of like why with the Supreme Court, you basically have a chance to keep on going up and up and up when it comes to these big, big decisions. So Activision is not sparing any money right now when it comes to this one. So at some point, they're in, they, this guy that they try to go and hire for this Activision deal has had some of the highest leveled stuff going on. So basically, Xbox is going big. Like They want to make sure this deal goes through, and they're going to go fight the UK the best they possibly can over this Activision deal. Basically, according to the law analyst Florian Mueller via Eurogamer, Activision Blizzard has gone all the way up to the top of hiring a lawyer to overturn the authority's recent ruling. According to Mueller's findings, the Call of Duty maker has hired Lord David Picknick, Panic, Picknick, <laughs> to another case, and this is a lawyer who has previously represented ex-UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, if you guys remember Boris Johnson for those few weeks of memes, Manchester City Football Club, so literally like actual football leagues, and also literally Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth the second. So this this guy has been on top of some of the best best legal law, and Xbox is probably sparing no expenses to try to go make their decision get overturned. So Mueller is now saying that he's very optimistic about their chances after this hire, and that the move also means he wouldn't doubt Activision's commitment for even a second regarding getting this whole thing overturned. So as you guys can see, some people are doing like the breaking news where Activision has hired an ultra high profile UK lawyer to help with the CAT tribunal appeal of the CMA Gov UK merger blocking decision, Lord David Panic himself. So basically what they're trying to go and do is try to get any big business deal they can make happen because they want to, well, obviously make it go and happen and they want to make this deal go through. As well, we also have some even more bigger news too when it comes to the EU expectations where we also have other things we have to go and fight against for when it comes to Xbox news. So so as uh, they had the CMA go and approve it, they still have to go and have the European Commission as well to either approve or not approve over these takeovers. So it appears we can't go on last a few minutes without something new happening in the world of Microsoft and Activision Blizzard at the moment, with the latest story being that the European Commission is reportedly expected to approve the takeover as soon as next week, potentially on Monday, May 25th. So this is according to Reuters, which says it's heard the information courtesy of people familiar with the matter. That May 15th 
15th date may not be exact, but it apparently is the likeliest date as of right now. So even as of literally tomorrow or throughout this next few weeks, we will have even more regulation news when it comes to the EU antitrust regulators to either approve or disapprove this $69 billion Act Activision acquisition. Now, I also want to say, though, as well, with how bad the economy has still been doing and also potential layoffs and everything else, it actually might almost be a better chance for them to not go get this deal go through to save some money. Although long term, I do I do believe I remember reading, you had to wait like 10 or 15 years to even have a chance to potentially go and buy out this company again if the deal does not go through. So it can kind of be a 50-50, although I do think Activision rumored at like $70 billion is still slightly on the higher side. So the European Commission currently has a deadline of May 22nd, so we will get news throughout the next weeks regardless to vote on the takeover. So it looks like we might find out a little earlier than expected, and Microsoft will certainly be hoping those sources turn out to be correct. We never take these kind of reports as once in fact, though, as well, so we just have to wait for them, and as well, sometimes court does move a little bit on the slower side, so we have to go and see all how that going goes and plays on out. But basically, right now, we are still on the fight for Activision. We are still trying our best to see if that can actually happen and will work, and if it doesn't, it might be a little bit of a sketchier side for Xbox, because they have put a lot of time, money, and effort into this whole decision, and if for some reason they can't get the Call of Duty deal to go pop on through, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board and kind of figure some stuff on out. So I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments and all that stuff down below. Now, in case you guys are also curious too, we had a pretty good list over here when it comes to Reddit, when it comes to all the updated PC Game Pass games that either support VR, have VR Mads, or have already gone from Game Pass, just in case you guys have been kind of curious in this one. Some good examples are no Man's Sky, Microsoft Flight Sim, Hitman 3, which I'd actually love to play in VR, Star Wars Squadrons, F1 2022, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, Ark Survival Edition 2 as well, with this kind of funny, they say, terrible, not recommended, and some other cool VR games, Ghost War Tokyo, Metal Hell Singer, Valheim, Minecraft, Mech Warriors, Grounded, Crisis, <coughs> Doom, Quake, Return to Castle Castlevania, Deep Rock Galactic, and as well, as I'm down over here, Game Pass with also uh, VR stuff that's also left. Sally for that list on top of that. There also has been a lot more uh, news when it comes to more native support, accessibility options, as well as everything else too when it comes to PlayStation and Xbox. So just in case you guys do have colorblind modes or hearing issues or like sight issues or whatever it might be, we are seeing a lot more options popping up for you guys to go and, well, potentially get some cool games. So make sure you guys keep on checking out Game Pass. They had a, a new wave, I think, of random indie games also joined too as well in case you guys want to go and check that stuff on out. Now, we also had a little bit more of a kind of a crazier story to wind down this evening as well as same like those crazy samson deals linked down below but when it comes to all that stuff we actually are hearing even more news in regards to a big xbox murder where if you guys have not kind of missed this news it's kind of crazy because for some odd reason we've had a lot of really big xbox drama when it comes to the courts like we've seen people who have like interact with people through consoles and well ended up not doing the nicest things to people, and those people may not be existing anymore. And that's not good. And sometimes people try to plan this stuff, or they're in party chats, or send text messages, or whatever it might have been in between, and it's just a not fun scenario. But apparently now someone who's involved in a literal like murder case in 2006 like, we're talking a long, long time ago, has now been apparently, like, making the whole media news everywhere. We've been seeing a lot of this stuff popping up, where apparently, like, just because, like, the laws, because it's been, like, 15 years, have changed since then, things are completely different. The court case is almost being redefined from someone who did all these really bad, bad things back in the day when it comes from the Xbox. So, uh, basically, if you guys ever end up in jail, please be careful, because these people are now 35 and I think 46 in regards now to them kind of sitting in jail for this, like, Jillian different years. They're trying to go and appeal because laws have changed since then, and basically, like the original ruling is now like not the same ratio, and everything else has changed too as well. Uh, Xbox stuff has been crazy. Make sure if you guys ever plan to do anything super strange, weird, bad, illegal, or anything else involving other folks, please make sure you guys do not go and well do it on Xbox. Just don't do it in general. Obviously, it's Mother's Day. Go chill. Go relax. And it's probably I think the better. Strap. But either way, we had a lot of big uh, Xbox legal law in the news, so let me know your thoughts and comments. Do you guys still think the Xbox actually has any chance at all to keep well, buying out Activision? I'm still on the indifferent side, is why I wouldn't mind it, because I wouldn't mind having more games up on Game Pass. If anything, I'd probably approve it, because especially with Diablo and my crippling Overwatch 2 addiction I've had on as of right this second, hasn't been the best, so I wouldn't mind having more games. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch down below in case you guys want to follow them. We also have the Samsung links for the brand new holiday sale going on too as well, so make sure you guys check those on out. And as well, we also have all the other various links, like the Amazon links, so the Twitch stream if you guys are bored, swing them by. And of course, give me all your thoughts and comments 
down below. We'll have some more videos for you guys very, very soon. I appreciate you guys all so much for existing. Have a good rest of your nice days or whatever. Happy Mother's Day. We'll talk soon.